said you are not. Let me put this thing down real quick, man. What are you doing? Anyways, oh, guys, reading, welcome back to the channel. We have Burke family with us. I have Paul with me. Chino's running a little behind. So if you guys don't know, this is Chino Comics and more. And what we do today is we show off all new comic books that are coming out tomorrow. And we get them a day early. So I already, I've been reading the absolute carnage. So, you know, spoilers, guys. It's a damn good read. But before we start, guys, um, you know, I do want to recognize that, or I do want to say, you know, you know what happened over, over the weekend with the shootings and stuff like that. That really, man, that's really, really bad, man. I mean, I have people, I have family and friends over there in El Paso, so that was a really, really scary thing that happened. Um, I hope it never happens for any of us where we live. Um, but it just makes you, you know, it makes you recognize and appreciate certain things because, you know, like you know myself, I have a family. Burke has a family. And, you know, it makes you think, like, what would you do in that situation? And I don't want to start this off, you know, kind of like with a sad demeanor and nothing like that. But, you know, it is something that we need to recognize, you know, because this is a community for us, man. And I know we look out for each other. And I, would, I would hate for anything like this ever happen to any of us. Um, so, you know, Burke, thanks for being with us, man. Um, you have any anything you want to say, bro, before we, we start the show? Thanks for having me on, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been on here in a while, um, but I am definitely free tonight. I'm happy to be on here. And again, uh, you know, my thoughts are with everyone that's in El Paso. It's a terrible thing that happened. I feel completely awful for everyone that lives there and all the families. Um, you know, there's nothing, um, you know, anyone can say that can bring those people back. But, you know, uh, I just feel terrible for them. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, their happiness comes back in their life soon. So. Yeah, and with that, guys, um, let's start us off by saying, Hope smash the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it, uh, because on Tuesdays we do we show off all the new books and we do random giveaways at random times. You know, free giveaways uh, of a new book that just came out. So I want to do give a, give a quick shout out to some of the people that are in the chat. I like this whole new setup to a certain degree because we can see all the people in here. So I have we have Thomas Wayne in here, we have Comic Blaster, we have Alberto Hydro Comics, the villains in here. We have the champ. We have a wine punch. We have uh, C three Comics. Um, you know, yeah, and the Ohio shooting, yeah, we, you know, that, that's what I was talking about this weekend. It, it sucks that it happened in El Paso. It kind of hits a little bit closer to home because I have family over there. But with the thing with Ohio, too, man, it's just, it's freaking nuts, man. Um, you guys stay safe. Keep yourself safe. Be aware. Um, anytime that, that 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 someone's life is lost, with you know, with kind of that, that senseless, you know, not really caring just because of hate or whatever it may be, that really sucks, man. And, again, I, I hate to start to show off with, with a downer, but... You know, it's something that we do need to talk about, man, and need to bring it up. Because we weren't live the last few days, and it happened over the weekend. So, um, so again, you know, you know, shout out to you know, it, it, this goes to anybody that's been, that's been in that situation. I hope you're never in that situation. Um, and with that, guys, start showing off some books, man. Uh, Chino's running a little late, but he'll be here in a bit. Um, the first thing I'm going to show off, guys, is, is special orders. So I'm going to display that. You want to put the uh, camera just on you so we can everyone can see it a little bit better? How do I do? I just click on the click on the single panel. Boom. Well, yeah, that makes sense. So what this is, guys, this is our special order. So what this means is typically someone came in and maybe they were maybe they missed the issue or an, a book came out or wherever it may be. So all these books are are are, are going to be special orders. So they belong. They're they're, they're to subscribers. Um, and the first book we're going to show off is going to be the love she offered. And it's a book that has a weird cover, but honestly. The, the story behind it, or or, or, or or like I guess the summary, some notes behind it is um, a father basically kidnaps the boyfriend of, of his daughter or daughter that passed away or or where it may be, and he believes that basically the, the boyfriend or I guess you call him the ex boyfriend is the one that 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 that, that murdered her. So he has he kind of took that guy hostage and then basically take him to a cabin and I guess try to figure out the truth. So this is a book that really went under the radar because the cover itself. When, I mean, I just, it doesn't stand out, man. So the cover doesn't really kind of go with the story, but apparently it seems like it might be a pretty dark story. So this is one of the books. We have Daredevil number three, second printing. I like that. That's cool. That's a, that's a pretty cool little cover. So again, this is going to be a second printing of Daredevil number three, and this is a special order. We also have the Thanos Carnage Eyes uh, variant, and this cover right here is straight fire, dude. So um, for any of you guys that, that that missed out on this cover you know I, you could probably still pick it up um but this is a cover that honestly flew off the shelf for us and AML says uh, that's a special order 
that's my word. Yeah, it might be for uh, for Hydro Comics. He, he he we went back and, and and we had to redo his um his subscription list. A lot of it was was a special order. Uh, we also have Champions number eight, and this is going to be uh, first printing. So maybe someone's trying to complete or pick up their Champions run. I like it. We have Jughead's Time Police number two. So that's another special order. Uh, this one kind of, I don't know why it's, but it's a special order. Just a league number 13 dark. We probably sold out and they're trying to pick up their copy now. Trying to, they're probably trying to pick up all the year of the villain books. Could be. And then the last one we have is going to be new agents of Atlas number two, and it's going to be second printing. So if someone specifically requested this one. So it's going to be number two of new agents of Atlas second printing. So those are the special order guys. So, so I, I decided to start with that because. That way, you, that way you guys kind of see another perspective of the comic book shop. Now, I think I think we should start with DC because honestly, DC is a, is a, is a smaller stack than Marvel and the Indies for us. It seems yeah, like, I agree. It seems like DC's kind of slowing down with their books, or maybe we just their main titles are fire, but a lot of their side titles maybe are not fire. So this is the stack for DC. It's decent. It's a lot better than last week, that's for sure. They don't have as many variants that. Uh... Marvel does. Marvel run out twelve variants for one book. DC does two covers. Yeah, and, and yeah, Marvel, dude, Marvel stack. I probably need. I, I wouldn't be able to hold it. Like, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to hold it one hand. This one I can hold it one hand. Yeah. But the uh, Marvel shoe is a two hander for sure, bro. You know, and you know, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm using, I'm used to using two hands, but that's a different topic. Oh my god. All right, so we'll start off with Batman seventy six. It was a really, really dope cover with Bane, kind of. About to break his back, part two, man. Yep. So it, pain. This is a badass cover, bro. Honestly, I like both of the covers. Honestly, I, w I just wish the writing matched the covers. Well, in my opinion, but you know, people people like it, so that's what she said. The villain said. So the cover B for for Batman seventy six is, is beautiful, bro. I mean, this is incredible art, if you ask me. Look at that. I think it's it's got to be Del Otto. Let me call, you, call you the man. Let me know. It's card stock. Too. It's card stock. Yeah. Let me double check this real quick. Uh, let me let me let me jump out the YouTube and jump back in because I'm I'm looking at this through my phone. Okay, we have we have uh, 22 people. We have the we have big line catches doing it. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's the lotto. It's a lotto. Okay, we have the art chemists up in here too. We have comics for all people. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us. I'm gonna go grab my uh, <laughs> frozen pizza out of the oven. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's a bachelor life right there, bro. <laughs> he laughs too. Yeah, Colin Blaster said that's Delato. So Delato, if you guys like Delato, you're gonna love what I gotta show you later on. But the next book we have is gonna be Batman Ninja Turtles number number four, issue number four or six. It's actually a really dope cover, man. The cover A. But I've been picking up all the Eastman variants. Uh, I like I like his art style. I like this one too. This is pretty cool. The whole Joker Shredder and then the whole Harley Quinn, I guess. Um, really, really, really dope cover. So if you guys are not picking this book up, it's a really, really cool read. They call you the Godfather Polly, bro. They call you the, they call you the Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> we have Jake's Kingdom Kingdom in house. What's up, Jake's? It's a nice Superman shirt. Um, the next book I have is going to be the variant, the Eastman cover. And again, this this Eastman cover is, is um, straight fire. The only thing I noticed about this. Streamyard is that it, I feel like it, it reverses everything on me. So usually, what, where I usually twist, it does it the opposite way. But aside from that, check that thing out, man. This thing is freaking fire, dude. What uh, who else we have in here, man? We have Ryan up in the house. What's up, Ryan? We also okay. This book here is is um, it's a really good seller for us, man. I think this book has been has been a pretty big surprise. I think. It doesn't really follow the main storyline, or it's not part of the main the main universe, but it's been a really good read and a really cool little uh, little side story. The Seas, number four. I am loving that storyline, and I wasn't even going to pick it up. But remember, this book issue number one started kind of slow, and people were off on like, "Oh man, it's not that good. It's not like it's not like um, Marvel Zombies or whatever it may be." And then issue two really picked this this whole damn thing up, bro. Yeah, it's it's an amazing story. Yeah, I think for it to be like a little side alternate uh, universe kind of story is, is damn cool. Um, so if you guys are not picking this book up, if you like zombies and stuff like that, 
this is going to be your best bet. Sorry for the glare. I got to get used to this whole stream yard. It's a little bit different. Uh, I'm telling you that when I, the angles are different on this thing. Yeah, it's not as crystal clear. Well, not for us, but I think whenever you go watch the rewind, it, it looks like it's pretty, pretty okay. damn. Um, the oh, DC's yeah. doing better with like it's uh, one off stuff, you know what I mean? With Batman Team and T and then DC's and all his black label stuff. I feel like it's doing better than their regulars. Well, they're doing a lot with Batman, that's for sure, bro. Um, Batman is like, a, I think, one of their best sellers, I would imagine. We just have uh, Comics Computer just joined us and so did uh, Comic Jabroni. What's up, guys? What's uh, up, Jigs Kingdom, what's up? Let me show off this cover because I think this is a cover that's going to probably be hard as hell to keep on the shelf. It's the Joker cover, bro. That's why I put it on the thumbnail, man. That is an insane cover. What's up, Rag718? Yeah, this cover right here is stupid nice, bro. I mean, God, bro. Matina killed it with that one, man. I feel like that cover itself is going it, to, it, it's just going to sell itself because one, you have the Joker, two, you have a. Uh, Zombified Joker and then three Matinas killing on, on those on those variants is card stock too. And um honestly, man, I think this one here, if you're a comic book shop, you probably could have gone heavy on it because it's gonna sell itself. If not, you'll find a way to to, to unload these damn things. There's a bad and shout out to Universe X because he hit me up on Instagram saying to save a uh, save one of those those copies for him. And Universe X is picking up a lot of books from us too. So you know, shout out to the long distance shoppers, man. The last cover for this season is gonna be the the movie cover, bro. What is that called? The uh, this is Final Destination. Uh, the mat is it a stream? Is it stream or Final Destination? Oh, it's, okay. I think it is Final Destination. I think you're right. This is really, really cool. Really cool cover, man. I think they're killing it with these, uh, these, uh, kind of like homages to, uh, to the to like scary movies. Scary movies. Yeah, that's bad, bro. Yeah, Hydra, Hydra's at pizza time. Hey, Hydra, you're always eating pizza, bro. Oh, so Chino's on the chat. He's uh, running a little behind, but he's, he's he's typing away on the chat. That's a good thing. Yeah, uh, I saw that. I was like, that's got to be Chino. You can never know when it's him or me, huh? Well, when you're talking and it's it's he's typing, I was like, that's Chino. Well, okay. here's the thing, too, man. Um, we we got our order in pretty early today. So the first thing me and Chino did was we pulled a copy of Absolute Cards and we read it. He read he read he read it here in the office. I took it home and read mine. Um, and we both kind of came to the same conclusion. It's they have fire so uh, is it pretty good it's really good bro uh donny case is he, he's, he's on top of his uh, did he stuff. write that too of course he did dude he he is running the show for marvel right now if you guys don't follow him on twitter you should uh because he's he's always kind of you know he's always he's, he kind of is hyping up his books but he's delivering but not only that he kind of gives some insights and stuff like that i mean this dude's juggling a lot of things right now absolutely uh, all right, so the next book we have is going to be Deathstroke 46. Judge by Jericho. That's his son. That's a pretty cool looking cover. That's his son? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's why That's why we have you here, Burke. You're the one with the DC knowledge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the variant is fire, bro. Um, and they've been killing with the variants, bro, for Deathstroke. They really have with the Deathstroke variants. They've been nice, and that's another nice one. That's a beautiful looking cover, bro. Um, man, that thing's freaking nice, bro. So beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. If I, if I, mentioned, I think someone the door. If I mentioned it tonight, we're having a midnight release, so we we decided to do midnight release for Absolute Carnage. Um, and plus, there's a lot of damn good books, man. So it, it might just pay off, you know, just to do a midnight release. But we had a pretty decent demand asking for it. All right, the next book I have to be Harley Quinn, number 64. More Year of the Villain stuff. It's been nonstop with the Year of the Villain, man. Um, Has that, that been helping sales a lot? Honestly, man, Harley Quinn for us is a decent seller. Um, we kind of cut back on the on the variants. I know Frank Cho's doing a lot of the variants, uh, but um, it's just... The variants are kind of sitting a little bit, so we cut back a little bit on, on that. But for sure, we we have a healthy sub count for the Harley Quinn. And just speaking of the variant, here it goes. And yep. you know, Frank Cho, the way he kind of draws his uh, his Harley Quinn, she's a little bit, you know, a little more fuller, you know, a little more thicker, you know. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say she looks she looks a little thicker, but I I like it. 
I mean, she has, you know, she has a little bit more hips and stuff like that. You're used to kind of seeing the like a more slimmer profile on her, but this is nice, man. I, I, I like, I like his art style. Uh, but Frank Cho has a, has, has a, you know, a certain, a certain uh, art style, you know, whether you, you like it or not. And comic jabroni says thick. Yeah, he's a thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I think I something, man. Oh, hey, so comic Shaw people just said that, you know, he just got out the hospital, man. Um, Speaking of hospital, man, it's, it seems like that's going around a lot lately, man. Some of you guys already know what's going on on our end, but uh, Comic Star people, I'm glad you're out, bro. I hope you feel better, man. I hope you are feeling better, um, and I hope you kind of get past whatever's going on, you know, that got you in the hospital, bro. Uh, the next book we have is going to be The Green Lantern, number 10. And this one here, honestly, bro, I'll, I'll be honest with you, this doesn't have a very, very, very high sub count, but the people that pick it up are very loyal to this book, to Green Lantern, so... It's, it's, it's a handful of guys that pick it up, but, I mean, those guys, you know, they, they stick with it and they tell me it's good, but I guess it just doesn't have the traction. I read the first issue and it just didn't hit me, so I just I stopped reading it after that. So. Yeah, so, and then, the, I mean, you know, I haven't read it, so the variants have been on, have been hit or miss with Green Lantern. I think this one here is, is so-so. Um, it's, I don't a cool cover. it's not great, but it's a, it's a cool cover for sure. So Universe X is saying that there's going to be a, a new character in Green Lantern. I think, honestly, man, I mean, at our shop, like I said, it's probably like four or five guys that pick up this book. So if there's a new character, I don't think we're the only comic book shop that has the same struggle, you know, with this book. It's not saying the struggle, but it doesn't have a really, really big uh, sub count. I mean, yes, yeah, subscription count. So it could be a low print. I don't know. So Tommy Jabroni said that he picked it up too, and he picked up one and two after that he passed on. He wasn't digging it. So again, like I said, it's either you, you're probably like a faithful follower, or, you know. Yeah, for sure. They need to get uh, Jeff Johns back on there. He kills it every time on Green Lantern. Who was that? They need to get Jeff Johns writing it again, man. Oh, okay. They sell Green Lantern. They got to get Jeff Johns on there. Uh, Paul said he, he know he knows a personal. He said he they Instagram each other. They PM each other, right, Paul? No. Nah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next we have is Doom Patrol: Weight of the Worlds. Was it number two? This one again is not a very 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 high uh, sub count. But have you watched the show, bro? Have you watched the show? I have. Is I have watched the show. I watched it. I watched half of it, and honestly, it got weirder and weirder, and I just stopped watching it. It just wasn't for me, and I really, really wanted it to be, but that it was that shit was way too weird for me. So, yeah, so so uh, I think Jake's saying the same thing. The storyline's kind of dying down. So, I just saw a really uh, old-looking dude walk behind you. Some dude with a flash shirt on. Who is that? Probably Gino. I got some guys already here, man. They're they're excited by Absolute Carnage, man. Plus, they want to see the live show in person, bro. Nice. And you know, Paul Paul's always here on Tuesdays because he wants to just get his his, his his grimy hands all over the comic books, man. I had to put him in, in bags and boards. If not, I don't blame him, dude. I don't blame him. Yeah, that dude can't can't control himself, man. Hey, Berg, I knew you were looking up on me. Hey, so Universe X said he likes your Superman shirt too, bro. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you got Paul over here blushing, bro. All right, so the next book we have is going to be Justice League number 29. And I've heard good things about Justice League, bro. Scott Snyder's right, man. There you go. Are you, are, is this in your, on your pool list? It is not. I have not read any of it, honestly. I feel bad, but I'm not reading it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to cut down. I'm, I'm, I'm Batman, Flash, Batman team and team. Sam. DC's Doomsday Clock. I mean, I got a lot in Poland, so you got a lot of DC in your in your pool list, bro. What's up with the Marvel love, bro? I'll probably get Absolute Carnage. Probably. I think you need to get it. Um right. I'm not gonna hype it up because it's it's uh it's you know Carnage, whatever it is, it's it's a really good read. Um so we have the villain said that the flash that just walked behind it was real slow. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying that you the villain said shots at you. Yeah, yeah man. Man. He's really just slow. He's just slow as shit. Oh, man, tell him that this flash is, is swole, bro. That's why. Yeah, too swole to be the flag. Oh, like, yeah, you're right. Too swole to be the flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next book, hey, what's up, Discovery Bay? The next book we have is going to be Lois Lane number two. You're reading that one, right, Bert? No. I mean, I got the first one. Yeah, it was way too political for me. 
and I don't know. I just I didn't care very much. You weren't digging it or what? No, I was not digging it. I thought it was way too political for me. Not enough Superman in it. I just not a big Lois Lane fan. Yeah, and the last book I have for DC is gonna be Superman Up in the Sky, number two. And Superman got his ass kicked on this one, so that's uh Tom King writing that. My boy said he Joe said he liked Lois Lane. He said, Burke, you know what you're talking about, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Theory 23? What do you say? I like Lois. Oh, that's the yeah, City Joe said that you don't know what you're talking about, Burke. That he he wants to meet you in person and have a, a damn argument with you about, about Lois Lane, bro. Hey, look at all the Burke stuffing himself. All right. So the next book. Oh, let me see if I have any DC books in here. No, I don't. All right. So the next, I guess, we'll, what should we do next, Paul? Or what do you think, Burke? Should we do Indies or should we do Marvel? Marvel is freaking loaded, bro. Let's do it. Let's make the people wait. Let's make the people wait. Make the people right. wait for that carnage. This is Indies, bro. Woo! I, I hope Superman gets not uh, KO. We have Pope Grimey up in the house. Um, we have Wayne Melvin. What's up? What's up, brother? What else we got up in here, man? It seems like more people are joining in, so that's a good thing. Let's see. All right, so let's. Yeah, I can see the people there. All right, guys, so we'll start. We'll, we'll go with Indies now. Speaking of Donnie Cates, he's also writing this book. It's called Baby Teeth, number 15. Oh, here comes the flash again. And this is going to be by Aftershock. Oh, that glare. I like, I like his non superhero stuff, too, man. Got, like God Country. Have you read God Country? I have not read God Country. Dude, you need to read it. It, it is. One of the best stories I've ever read. Shit, I need to look it up, then, man. I need to pick it up. I'm, I'm sure I have to get like a trade paperback, or something like that. That's what I got. Okay, the next book has a little bit of hype behind it, I think. Um, I'm not gonna show everybody what's in the book. I think I'm, I probably mixed uh, mixed up the the variants, but let's start with. The, I guess we'll start with the, with the. I think this might be the variant. It's Berserker Unbound number one by Dark Horse Comics. And I took it out the bag for a reason because I want to show the interior art. Somebody was telling me that the interior art is, is, is fire. So let's, let's, let's take a look. It does not hurt for us to pull it open and check it out. Interesting looking panels, man. That's really nice. That's real nice. So this guy looks like Conan, honestly, you know. Uh, man, look, I'm going to show you another page. The art is pretty damn nice, bro. Oh, is that the one where he comes into the it, world and all that? Yes. So this is again by Dark Horse Comics is number one. So of course, you know, I try to pick up number one. So this might be cover A. I think that this cover A shows him in the city. Uh, Pope Grimey says Mike Mignola. And then instead of Joe says nice art. Well, Pope Grimey freaking put like four exclamation points. So um, yeah. He must know something we don't know. So yeah, that that, that seems like a this seems like a pretty cool little read. I'm gonna check it out. Then we have Boom Studios with Buffy the Vampire Slayer number seven. I watched the show as a kid because the chick on there was hot. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is by Image Comics, and this one already start, it's starting to get a little bit of hype behind it. Um, hopefully, you guys, you know, hit, hit up your comic book shop. Hopefully, you guys throw on your pool list because this book's starting to get a little hot, and it's gonna be. Coffin Bound, number one. And I want to check out the art on this one, bro, honestly. Because we have Pope Serve as the first in here, too. Because this, one, this one's getting some hype, bro, so I want to see what, how the art looks, because this one I'm going to pick up for sure, too. So here's our interior art, guys. I don't know what the artist is, but it kind of looks like Joel Jones art. It's, she kind of looks like Donald. Kind yeah. of. So again, image, uh, as you guys may know, um, Amazon, all these guys, bro, they're, um, I'll get with you over later. Um, they're picking up a lot, a lot of indies, bro, because, where's your glasses? glasses, glasses. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> because, you know, Disney's taking all their properties back, man. And, and Warner Bros., I think they're starting their own streaming service too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or they might be. Who knows? Say that again. Bank. Yeah, it is. Uh, is it is Warner Bros. starting their own streaming service, bro, or do they have one already? 
I would imagine that eventually they want to take all. They're going to want to take all their properties too. This is starting theirs in November. Whoa. Well, you know, so like Amazon, uh, Netflix. You know, they're they're going to start picking up a lot of them, a lot of like new properties. So you know, this could be. One, you, oh, have you watched the boys yet on Amazon? I did watch the boys. The boys is freaking good, bro. It was amazing, dude. It's funny. It's it's raw. It's uncut. Um, I mean, it's 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 a little hardcore, bro. You know, I got told I told the guys on Saturday. I think Saturday or Friday, or Friday we went live, and I think it was Friday. I told them, don't watch it with your kids because that show is, is no. pretty raw, man. You saw it too? How, how many? Of them? Got plenty. Wait, I think I'm picking a book here. Oh no! All right, so the next book I have is gonna be The Dark Age, number one, and this was a free comic book day book, man. And this one's starting to get some hype too. The cover's freaking beautiful. The comic book this year? Yeah. That's one of the books that that, that was, was catching fire for the free comic book day. Oh, shit. I'm going to look for it. Throw it up on the bay. Throw up on the bay, man. Shoot, see what it goes. So, but this one's starting to get a little bit of traction, too. It's a beautiful red cover. Uh, Dark Age. Hopefully, you guys have this on your pool list because I've heard a number of good things about it. So, yeah. And Universe X is saying, my Dark Age is finally here. Yeah, bro. We have a lot of a lot of good books, bro. Um, I might be mistaken. I might have these flipped, too, but... The next book I have is going to be by Image Comics, and this one's already been picked up. It's going to be Die Number Six. And this one got hot as hell for a minute, bro. When they announced it got picked up, issue number one's going for like 100 bucks or more, dude. Shoot, don't even, don't even talk about a, a graded version. I also have this other cover. I think this might be cover B. And you guys can always correct me on the chat. Die number six. What else? All right. The next book I have, I'm going to tell you guys straight up already, dude. We have one copy, and it's for a subscriber, and this book's already hot as hell. Again, another indie. And this one here, let me check who, is, who it's by. Source Point Press, Dead End Kids number one. I don't have any extras. Don't hit me up on this book because... This one here is one for a subscriber, and that's it. So this is probably this is a book that we missed. Honestly, it flew way past us. But this book right now is going for like twenty, twenty-five dollars on eBay, I think. That cover right now is going for twenty-nine ninety-nine plus seven dollars shipping. You should buy it for me. There's another copy going for fifty, and another going for twenty. So it's all over the place. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, you see, Hydra saying, yeah, that book's already forty dollars online. I I don't know if it's a hell of a read. I should have read it maybe to find out if it's that damn good. But that's crazy. I got we got Pumpo in here. You're the boy that won that. That's that's the dude that won that uh that waffle from you. Want to see him? Where's he at? Where's Pumpo? Pumpo's like Ila Mia. <laughs> oh, he's in the chat. Okay. In the chat. What what does Ila Mia mean? I guess and where's my, I guess he said where's mine. Oh. All right. The next book is a man, this book right here looks very familiar to character to us. It's the Death Defying Devil number one. And I have all the covers mixed up, so if I'm I'm just gonna present them. But this guy looks very familiar, dude. Death Defying Devil, Triple D. I know a guy with with a name that's double D for a certain publishing uh publisher or whatever, but Daredevil? I didn't want to say it, but it looked pretty familiar, man. So this, yeah. you know what? Does it feel like the Jersey Devil or something, or what? Let me check out the interior. Oh man, it even looks like. Um, check this out. He's even getting his ass kicked like the original Daredevil. <laughs> so there you go. This is a pretty cool looking cover, though, man. This is a Perillo per per cover right here. I can see it down here. So this, you know, he draws that ass. It is nice. We have this other cover by Lee in Hewitt. I might be mis I might be butchering that one. Holy cow. That was just like Daredevil. No, it doesn't bring you crazy. It was nothing like Daredevil. Well, I missed some of my books. So I'm in the wrong stack. Okay. Then we have this other cover. They released like freaking 10 covers for this book. This is like the Marvel mentality right here. So 
this guy's two different colors. Then we have this so, color. Apparently, Universe X says he was before Daredevil, but they had to change his name because they lost in court. Oh, there you go. It's a pretty cool. This is a pretty cool looking cover too. All the covers are pretty nice, to tell the truth. And we have another cover. Dang, dude. Yeah, they uh, they went heavy on this one, bro. All right, the next book we have is gonna be by Dynamite Comics. It's gonna be of Elvira, Mistress of Dark, number eight. Every one of her covers is. Um, I know a chick with double D's. Pope. He's talking about Pope. Uh, <laughs> All right, and then we have by Valiant. We have Fallen World number four. Samurai action. By Boombox, Giant Days number fifty-three. Then we have this was pretty cool. This is by Dark Horse Comics. And this one went to second print, and we had a second print for it. It's No One Left to Fight, second print. This is a book that we honestly sold out of it really fast, bro. I don't know anything about that book, man. What was that? I don't know anything about that book, dude. It's kind of like a picture Dragon Ball Z style. There's like characters that kind of resemble Vegeta, uh, Goku, and stuff like that. So. You know, off the bat, if you like fighting and stuff like that, good book to pick up. That's awesome. Then we also have, by Dark Horse Comics, No One Left to Fight, issue number two. So they released a second print of number one and number two today. Or tomorrow, really. I'm sorry, tomorrow. Today for us. So AML, or should I say Hydra Comics, is saying it's already been picked up by Netflix. Which one is he talking about? I, I, no, I was wondering the same thing. I thought I didn't say anything. Um, which one was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and Hydra, if you can't type in what you're talking about, bro, uh, because I'm, I'm I probably missed it. So, the next book I have to be My Little Pony number one. Oh, yeah, Dead End Kids. Oh, it already got picked up by Netflix. Damn, that was fast, bro. The cover beast fire of my little my little pony. So I don't care what you guys say. That that's a pretty badass cover. Does your kid your kids like that comic or the TV uh, show? No, honestly, this is for this is for grown ups, bro. I, I mean, the people that pick this up is the grown ups. So, and you see, look, Big the Snake said, "Ooh, just in time for my little pony." So there you go. Oh my gosh, just in time, my little pony, my favorite. <laughs> you see, there is a there is a loyal following for the ponies. Computer oh, like them. Yeah, Peter like I think that's what I heard. Peter likes them. So we Peter, got Thor. We have a uh, bacon snake in, 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 in the house. We have Dennis is in the house, and I met him in person. Real cool guy. Um, you gotta go to work or what? Yeah. No. Sucks for you. We're out for a few minutes. Sucks for you. I was gonna put this on in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, you want it? No, no. Where's Chino at? Y'all want to see Chino? She was over there. She was over there uh, making making all the. No, nah, I was making cells. Where you been, Gino? We missed you. He was over there stuffing his face. That's what he was doing. I was, I was making cells, bro. Midnight midnight release. There you go. All right, the next book I have by Image and it's Kick Ass. What the issue is number sixteen. Is that a chick? Nah, it's, uh, is it? It has to be. Look at the chest. Uh, oh no, he has a big ass chest. I guess it's a dude. I have a big ass chest. That's, I don't that's a, a weird looking chest, man. Hey, he's been in. He's been in that bench press like crazy, bro. I guess so. Hey, bro, Baker's here. He's gonna whoop your ass again. Uh, <laughs> in the I don't have many team up. Okay. I have a fight, okay. Oh, so look, Baker's saying that yeah, it's 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 a black girl now. At, at, so that is a a, a chick, bro. All right, bro. That's a chick. Bro, I said it. Looks like a girl. Hey, my fucking gym bag, bro. She does hilarious. What do you say? You, you, you whooped your ass, so uh, you got that chapter belt on your ass. <laughs> That's fine because I don't have any McFarlane covers for the next round, anyways. So, uh, are you have McFarlane? I would have sent you one, bro. What you, what you need? ASM 300? I needed five. You needed five covers? Yeah. I got plenty. I got a whole bunch of spawns. 
<laughs> but nah, you know, that that was a pretty cool little show, man. You guys were kicking ass. Yeah, I just said pick up the number one yeah. you kick ass black girl since it's a key for new Netflix series. So I guess it's that thing. I don't, know if it's, I don't think it's this one, is it? Yeah, you said kick ass. Let's kick ass number 16. Ooh. That's the one with the black chick. Oh, well, there you go. There you go, guys. Hydra giving us some knowledge in the chat, man. The next book we have is The Island of Dr. Monroe, number one. Yeah, this is going to be by IDW. We have not done more Marvel yet. I'm going to do Marvel? No, I'm going to do those right now. Those are, those are the, 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 I'm going to do the uh, indies. Okay. So are you are still in DC? Nah, DC's dumb, bro. Like, it was like 10 comics. Park was all butt hurt because they didn't have that many Batman covers. Hey, but I'm going to tell you one thing, man. Uh, Batman was light last week, but that had, that had some good damn reading, man. Was it last week or the week before? Which one? The last night? Last week. Yeah, last week. Dude, it's... Yeah, it was good. This, this, uh, this, the weeks fly, bro. When you're doing this this kind of work and we're working so many damn hours, bro, the time flies, bro. Uh, the next book we have will be Red Sonya and Vaparella Meet Betty and Veronica, number three, by Dynamite Comics. And if you guys missed uh, our last live show, I showed off a, a pretty interesting little number one that I normally don't pick up. Well, not number one, uh, first appearance, so... You guys need to catch a rewind. The next book we have by Image Comics. Image has been killing it. This is going to be Sea of Stars number two. I said, why are you always quiet, Paul? Well, we're not to the good part yet. Hey, Paul, why, why are you so quiet today, Paul? Usually you're like nonstop chatter. You should have came in earlier, boy. You could have read this one. I already read. He said you already read. You already read? He said he's buying two copies. Oh man, then we'll, we're not gonna do a free giveaway until we hit 30, 30 likes. Ooh. Oh yeah. No. There you go. Right up, there goes my eighteen. I, I, I didn't even like my own show, man. <laughs> <laughs> you disliked it? No. He disliked it, yeah. Disliked it. Alright. The next book we have is gonna be Space Bandits, number two by Image. This is Image, right? Yeah, Image Comics. Wow. This is a nice looking cover, dude. We're ordering pizza. What are we going to yeah. eat? I had the white pizza. Oh, shit. We have, we have also a variant for that. What's going to be a 75 cent variant? That's interesting. I mean, I can go to the gym while y'all go eat. Stuff on that is really interesting. That's where you came from. That's 25 likes. See, yeah. Pope, Pope Rami said he hit it. I got y'all got a host match that damn thing, man. That's that's the thing. Oh, you know what? Before we move on, Burke, what is college buddies, bro? Somebody Dude, here. I have no freaking idea who those people were. I've never oh, seen so in my entire life. No. If you guys in the chat know what college buddies is, let me know. Uh let us know what's up with that, man. Uh some people have been asking for a review for college buddies. Uh I don't know what what that mean? There was like four or five of them in my live chat one night. I would not stop they talking about college. Want you to review a book. Yeah, they wanted you to review uh college buddies. Uh, I thought it was a movie. I thought like a you know one of the funny. Yeah, movies. like I looked, I googled a picture of it, and it was just like uh, I don't know something you'd see in like a newspaper, like that kind of like cartoony looking art. I'm talking about porn. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I would imagine Pope Pope service. You got to know what that is, bro. Uh, so if you can fill us in, bro. Sure, I, or, 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 let us know. Fake said he hasn't heard of it. Yeah, so there are people. So people are asking for it. Uh, the next book's by IDW is gonna be Transformers cover A. Right, that's a dope cover. Though. I've been really digging these covers, man. Female Civil War. I showed my daughter the first Transformers movie last week. She liked it. <laughs> Who did? My daughter. Oh yeah, she we, watched the first movie. Yeah. Oh man, well we watched the um, we watched uh Bumblebee a while back. My kids like that one. I heard that one's actually good though. I heard that one's actually good. Bumblebee. I watched it. I was like, but the Bumblebee, the best movie. I was like, oh man, I was like falling asleep, bro. I mean, it's been long as hours every day. I, I, I think yeah. the, the worst ones were the ones with um, Mark Wahlberg. I didn't like those. That's spoiled, though, bro. He's swole like you. This week. Look, this the next book is by Image also, and this is a book that I, you guys need to be picking up, man. Okay, so Hydrocon is saying college buddy sold out highly short frame, going for eight dollars right now. Green, green lit by New Line Cinema. Oh, 
you got to review that one. Too. You got to review that one. Too. There's a book that I know Ryan has been high on this one. I've been high on this one. Thumbs is a hell of a read, guys. Pick it up. You know, I'm not saying that lightly, but you should be picking up this book. Uh, this book is damn good. So what's it about? It's about thumbs, bro. Now it's about a guy named Thumbs, and he's trying to kind of like I don't want to ruin for anybody. It's, I guess like a quick little summary is he's kind of building like a like a web army with kids. So. You don't like that kind of stuff, huh? You like this guy? Is, this guy's Marvel all day, dude. He hates on all the indies, but then on the weekends, you know what's funny? On the weekends, he's hitting, he's hitting me up that he found you know books that he could have bought here at the shop. He's going out hunting, picking up those books on uh, other uh, other comic book shops, bro. So you know they're looking at me weird. Yeah. Until so I, when, I, when I pull out that knife from my uh, back and my boy know. Paul's backstabbing me with the comic book shop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the last That's book. Thumbs down, Paul. Paul for you, man. Thumbs down, Paul. The, the last book I have for the end is going to be IDW number, the issue number two by It's going to be Usagi Yojimbo oh, well. number two. And if you guys didn't pick up number one, that's the first time they actually did it in color. So throw it out there, man. My boy, my boy Ryan. He's always saying that I think they're having a conversation about space bandits. Have we hit 30 likes? Because I mean, you guys must not want a giveaway today, man. We're 36 watchers, but only 27 likes. Hit three more likes, and they're gonna do their giveaway. Give me those. Uh, those that's like a book. I'm gonna show the, the, these. I'm gonna show off some some other Variant? books. These are variants for and just like some indies and all, all that all that stuff. <laughs> the art looks like someone drew up them. Dude, you you know what's funny? We'll, we'll talk, speaking about art, um, a lot of people were hating on that on the Silver Surfer Black art. I see a lot of people are coming around on it, man. So sometimes it grows on you. Really? I liked it. I, I didn't have an issue with it. I like the zoom. I like the story. The story's really good. All right, so there we go. We hit thirty likes. Perfect. What's up, hi, Leah? All right, so look, this one here is a, is going to be a virgin cover of Red Sonia. And check out that beautiful looking cover. You don't like that cover, right? You know? It'll be more of Biggie Shack. No, I can't take those covers home. This oh, one here. What's up, man? This is a $50 price tag, bro, right here. So and it's, I think it's worth every damn penny, bro. Um, this, is, this is the Red Sonia. Are you guys doing a number or are you guys getting a person? I think, Bert, to start off, I think you should come up with a character a, a character from either Marvel DC and then... No, do DC, bro, but do something hard. Like, yeah. like, do DC, bro, but do something real hard, bro. Like, don't pick Robin. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. For sure. For sure. For sure. Name a DC character. Name a DC superhero. Batman. So, something that these guys, they're not going to know, bro, right away. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, comments for people. Uh, up, Michael should be back around nine oh, inch. I got, I got it. DC character. All, All right, right. I'm, gonna text, I'm gonna text it to you so you have it. All right, uh, but, but yeah, when you text it, I'll put it on here so everybody can see it. No, nah, no, nah. <laughs> but we're not gonna say anything. we're not gonna show it yet. What's up, Jay? Uh, what's up, Antonio? Um, check these covers out, bro. Speaking of the de of the devil, death defying devil, check this one out. There's a one in ten. Virgin, bro. Got two of those bad boys. Nice. And then this is gonna be the one and twenty variant. Virgin. Okay. That's already in mylar, guys. So this thing is ready, to, ready, to, ready to be shipped out or purchased. So. All right. So then these are all gonna be Marvel variants. So I can't show them off yet, guys. So put these back over there for now. DC stick right there. You gonna do a giveaway now? You can't. What's up, Will? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? You survived the snap. Damn. All right. So this is gonna be the Marvel stack, bro. Oh, look, Bay. Bay just said his, his order is in, man. Oh, I'm. I'm. I, I'll look at it in a bit, bro. Hey, about the local just walked in. Hell yeah, he just walked in, bro. Show them boys how you about the local, bro. <laughs> All right, the snap. Oh, we'll big head. Who's big head? You know. Oh man, nice. <laughs> Paul, what are you looking at, Paul? Well, you know what? We're going to do something different with the Marvel. We're going to start backwards. Because the best title is in the front, I think. The fire title. So we'll start off with the first book. Star Wars. Nice. Paul said he's picking up three copies of this bad boy. Boom. I thought your shirt said I survived the slap. <laughs> the, slap. <laughs> the wife slapped his ass. 
All right. It's about anything. How many, how many likes do we do we have? We have we, we have, have the likes. We have, we have thirty six likes. We have forty two people watching right now. Shout out to all the people in the chat, man. All right, so did you text me that information? Yeah, I got it, Mister Mister Burton. That's a that's a difficult one, don't you think, Chino? Um, uh, that's good. It's good. Okay, so before 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 you guys type in anything, <laughs> let me let, I'm gonna I'm gonna type in ready set go on the chat. After that, y'all can y'all can name a uh, character. <laughs> All right, so we have Comic Aids in the house. Go for it, guys. It's DC, guys. The the the, the characters are from DC. Comic Aids, you did miss the Indies, bro. It's some damn good books, bro. Um, catch us on the rewind, bro. Well, not just that. Well, afterwards, we're gonna They're be talking up. about books, anyways. I don't see it. They pop up. The, the ready set go. No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah. No one's guessed the right thing yet. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Er everybody, the uh, DC. What? DC, what uh, DC character. character. Like good guy, bad guy. We're not. We're not at that point yet. Everybody's putting out heroes. Good guess. Not the right one. Yet. What book would I give away today? What book would I give away today? I think I'm gonna give out a. Pricey book, man, because it's 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 a, little, it's a little bit pricier than usual. The question was, uh, it's a uh, DC character. You gotta guess the character. Paul, man, who left? Paul, Paul, yeah, yeah. Oh, you almost had it. <laughs> Paul, Katana, no, Wally West, no, Kenneth Blay. Oh, yeah, we're missing Kenneth Blay. No one has even been close yet, honestly. <laughs> we're gonna go for a few more. And then if not, we're gonna give it we're gonna give these guys a, a hit. A hit. Hey, you drink some water, man. Chino? No. Chino's not the bad guy. Not. Like an anti-hero. I wouldn't be a, a villain or a good guy. No. All right. It it's a villain. Yeah. It is a villain. The hint is it's a villain, guys. It's a villain. Starfire, man. She, she is far. So it's a villain. This is good, man. I like this because it makes you guys really think outside the box. And you can't Google this. Uh, and you know what? It's been a lot of the same. Antonio, you can't Google yeah. it, bro. I tell you, man, I've been kicking ass on, on these giveaways, man. Blitzen. <laughs> yeah, there's only a million. You're right, Biggie Shack. Okay, if, if need be, we will kind of specify the form, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, let it go for a little bit more. And Burks, if you know more about this character, you have to kind of give him a hint, if need be. But don't blow your load, bro. Don't tell him. You just let me know, and, and I'll and I'll give a small hint. And it's damn good to have you here with us live again, Burke. Heck yeah, man! I'm happy to oh, be here. Hey, I don't know. I didn't hear from him. He said it. He did. Yeah, I didn't invite him. Oh, well, he didn't. I didn't. He didn't hit me up. Yeah. Gaspar, what's up, family? We got Rasky. Hey, man, if you you guys are if you're not subscribed to the channel, y'all should be subscribed to the channel because we do this weekly. All right, give, Bert, him, yeah. give him give him, a bit, give him another hit, man, because these guys uh. Hey, okay. uh, what's up, Sal? Um, a hint, man. I I want to give a hint, but it's. I feel like you would give it away like right away. Um, I will tell you that he has made an appearance on a uh, TV show. TV show. TV show. It, this is a hard ass one, guys. It's not an easy one, but it has to get harder because we can't make it so easy that you guys are just going to, you know, guess it with the first or second guess. Well, they should know because. There's, there's, nope. only, there's only so many uh, TV shows on on WB. On CW. CW. WB. <laughs> Zod, Lex Luthor, White Tiger, uh, Black Adam, Red Stroke. Nope. Mattello. Nope. nope. What's the question? Uh, it's a it's a DC Bro, villain. Fake the snake. Oh, got, it. Fake the got it. Nick just got it. Fake. Damn. Damn. He kicked your butt, and then he kicked. He got your question he right. Yeah. He, 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 Congrats. He got your number, bro. All right. So. 
Bake the Snake, you have one a free book. Um, and I will show you what it is. And it's a pricier book. But you, you ain't got to pick this, this bad boy up tomorrow, bro. I got you already. I will be shipping that out to you. Absolute Carnage number one. And this is going to be a price tag of $7.99. <laughs> so that is a damn good W. So let's keep going. That was a good one. That was, yeah, that was that went well, I feel like. So the next book we have is going to be The Punisher, number 14. And he's all in black. And most of them are wearing black today. Like, damn, we're going to. It's not a funeral, guys. We're, no, no, we're wearing red. Yeah, you're wearing red. It's Carnage Day, bro. I didn't have another red shirt. I, I wanted yeah, the freaking Carnage shirt, bro. Um, yeah, Bait Mac, congrats on that W, man. Uh, that's a badass book. To, uh, again, you're, you don't have to buy it tomorrow, bro. Unless you want to pick up a variant. It's all you, man. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're going to get that, that cover A for sure sent to you tomorrow. Uh, I next said book, Luther earlier. No, it wasn't Luther. It was uh, Damien Dark. Uh, Damien Dark. Dark. Yeah, it was an interesting, um, interesting pick, man, for sure. Yeah, no, it's a re red DC shirt, bro. Um, oh, but I, yeah, said you, you, I, you, I, you didn't even got Marvel on today, bro. I got Marvel on today. Uh, Alex Ross covers. <laughs> As Burks, yeah. All right, so the next book we have, and this is a, a book that I think Acidic Joe is reading. I think some of you guys are picking up this book. It's going to be Old Man Quill number eight. Bautista, man, that looks pretty cool. Bautista looks pretty cool. There you go. And this time I spelled Chino Comics in more correctly. <laughs> Let's go check that. Huh? We have the next book we have is the Sensational Spider-Man number one, Self Improvement with the Black Symbiote Suit. Black Symbiote Suit Fire. You see, it's Joe said that Old Man pulled a damn awesome read. I think all the old men uh, uh series Oh Immortal Biggie Shack uh bait won the won the book, bro. We will have another one. We'll yeah, we, one. don't worry, we have another one for sure. Uh the next book I have is gonna be Savage Avengers number four, the variant. And yes. it's, it's, I think I like this variant, bro. I like it a lot. This has been a pretty cool, pretty fun little read. Is that Corvus in back? I don't know who that guy is in the background, man, but he looks pretty look, this this cover looks wicked as hell, bro. It says, bring on the bad guys on the bottom. It shows them. Bring on the bad guys. All right. Then we have cover A. And cover A is damn nice, too. So. Who's reading this? I stopped Wall reading after. I think Wallace were reading. You're I not reading the one? Uh, I have so many books to keep up with. I stopped reading. Uh, I usually, I, I, usually, up to I usually pick up a lot of the, I, I usually read the indies first now. I have to read the indies first because it's more of a, I've said it before, it's more of a gamble for us. To pick up issue two, three, and four, but usually with Marvel, you know, it's it, it'll find a place, you know. Um, the next book we have is gonna be Thor's favorite character. I mean, if he would have been here with the live show, he probably would have he would he would have went nuts. Major X number zero, but beautiful, beautiful art. I'll have to read this one just because I, I finished reading yeah. it anymore. You read it? The series. Well, oh, you read it? Yes. Yeah, what do you think? Ooh, awesome. awesome. You read it the Lord? Yeah. Good art, too. You buying it, Paul? No, I'm buying it. We already read it. You already read it. <laughs> All right. These, man, this this book here, man. These, ooh, this is one I'm going to read probably next. I have a few variants of this book. Um, some of you guys that subscribed to it last, I'm throwing it out there so it's on video. Some of you guys subscribed to this book last are probably going to end up getting variants. You're probably going to get the main cover. Um, and it's going to be just whatever's available because. It was somewhat under ordered to the amount of uh, subscribers that we added now. So this cover right here is fire. It's going to be the the decades cover, the Phoenix or Jean Grey, Miss Marvel. Oh, that's the uh, what is it? X Men One Hundred and One homage or homage? This is going to be House of X number two. This is going to be the what? What's up? X Men One Hundred and One homage or homage, however you want to say it. Kind of, yeah. Kind no, of, this cover is raining, bro. I mean, damn dark. nice. Nice. I'll take it tomorrow. Uh, this is gonna be the. I don't know what you would call this one, but I, this is gonna be the storm with the flowers on it. Well, go pick it up. It's in my backyard. Nice. No, it's, it's wet yeah. in the back. This is gonna be the con the connecting variant. You know is it the back? I heard House of X was pretty good. All right. Okay. It's damn good, bro. That's what I'm saying. This week is freaking fire, bro. 
So this is a connecting variant. Again, this is a really under order for us. So the the, the connecting variants. And you you got sold out of House of X number one, didn't you? I sold out of House of X number one. I sold out Powers of X number one. And then when we did the order for this book, I think we did one and two at the same time, or we did two like a week after, and we still didn't have no traction before it actually came to the store. So I, I, we had to cut the order because there was no no following to it. And now we've added like we're like at twenty something subscribers or more. So hey. wow, that's awesome. the young version. I like Scotty. Sorry, bro. I like him. I'm getting a second print for this, so yeah, we might have to set up a second print. I'm not even getting a damn copy. I have to go hunting tomorrow at other combo shops. There's a main cover. Current, so review, current news wants to know when the College Buddies review is going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were, we were, we were the earlier. That hijacked my chat the other night. Oh, hey, current news, man. We talked about it earlier. The guys, they they uh, they let us know what's up about College Buddies. My boy, AML said it's um, uh, Hydro Comics. He said it's it's uh, well, you can send them in the chat, uh, Hydro Comics. Yeah, he was talking about the books, man. What's up with the flowers, man? Is those flowers have have uh, different meanings in the book, bro? The flowers. I, if you guys haven't read um, oh, House of X, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, for for the for the mutants, it does something something different. For the humans, it like cures diseases, all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, aren't they growing them? They're, They're growing. growing. Yes, yeah, so I took some of them seeds, and I planted some in my house, man. So, um, kill the human race. I'm, I'm gonna create some some immortal kind of flowers that you eat, and they become immortal. So, the next book I have will be Invisible Woman number two. This is the Amanda Connor cover. I actually am digging this cover a lot. Maybe I'm the only one, but I like this cover. Dude, that first book, like that's a sweet cover. But the that's a, that's a nice cover. That's, that's the first book to read was god awful, in my opinion. It was bad. I thought it was horrible. Then again, if you would have saw Catwoman, you probably would have gave it a ten out of ten, though. No. No. All right. Black cover A. Hey guys, the reviews on the rewind, man. We, we reviewed it real early on the show, man. Hey, I got the guys that rewind, man. We, uh, we talked about it. We talked um, about it. Every issue. You see, biggest things talking about it too. Cover A. Cover A is bad too with Black Widow, bro. Oh, that is nice. And Black Widow has her a new series coming out. You know, of course, they got to build a hype with the movie and stuff like that, but her, the cover looked damn sick, bro. Yeah, on this live show, bro. We reviewed it. You guys missed it. Now you'll be here at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the next book I have will be the Immortal Hulk, the variant, number 22. Combination putting hands on the Hulk, man. Kind of reminds me when we were young, I had to put the hands on Chino. Oh, I know this. Oh, back Nightmares, Chino? Nah, yeah. Nightmares. You know, this is supposed to be ending in the next, what, three books? They said, man. I don't know if they are, though. Cover A's badass, too. You got the Hulk, Red Harpy, mm -hmm. and what's the guy's name again? Mm -hmm. Got a damn name. Mm -hmm. Timestamp. These guys are asking for timestamp. Yeah, yeah, Silly Joe, man. Them pockets gonna be hurting, bro. Check this one out, Silly Joe. Daredevil number nine. This book right here, man. That cover right there. I think they introduced a new Daredevil. Let's find out, bro. Let's find out. Let's find out. There's supposed to be a new Daredevil. I'll find out. I want to see who it is. No. Please don't be a girl. I think it would be uh, Detective. What is it? Detective uh, Cole North? Is that, is that Detective. Oh, Bullseye killed him again. Oh, no. This is the new Daredevil, huh? Or is that Daredevil? Is that Luke Cage? What's that, Kingsman? Yeah, bro. We'll be here. We got pizza coming. I've been here in the next. Oh, wow. Five, 30 minutes. Oh, All right, well, yeah. I'm going to show you guys this. If you have kids, uh, Shut their eyes. Oh, I know that. <laughs> because they have kids. They, you know, I know that, but I'm saying, why are you gonna like? Hey, all of a sudden, watch but, it. Nah, they, they like y'all like y'all like spoilers, right? I'm gonna show you guys. Like, hey, y'all like spoilers? Yes. yes or no? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, a city joke. Close your eyes, bro, because I know you're. You know, you got sense of eyes. Bert, you're family man. You don't need to see this. Do not flag us, but check this out. I see it. What the number one? Oh. We gotta see Daredevil. Look at that. Uh, an angle. Oh, he's like, 
he's, he's doing a pick roll. I can, <laughs> I can hardly see that, man. No, no, see it, man. This is the, damn, the, the camera angle. Hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can get better without the glare. Computer tingle. Right there. You see it? <laughs> the crease on the what am I looking at? What am I supposed to be looking for? <laughs> Show us what you know. Well, Burke, you, you, you might not be familiar with that, bro. That's the beater. <laughs> what happened? You, you like it? Ding. What are we looking at, though? You don't see what he's doing? Sure. Yeah, he's having sex. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, it looked like they were just getting intimate. I didn't, you can't see anything. My boy, you know, he, he caught on. <laughs> All right, so but no, I, th I think what Burke was looking for is a little bit of nudity, man. Burke, Burke, you need to buy them dirty magazines, bro. You they sell can't them. Buy that. Burke, are, are, are you being nasty again, Burke? Uh, uh, he's yeah, he's back. Change he's that back. name real quick, to Burke. Nasty. Yeah. Change that name to Burke Nasty real quick, bro. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. No, All right. uh, <laughs> the next book we have is going to be Dead Man Logan, number ten of twelve. This thing's about to come to an end, guys. Either you're on it or you're off it. What's up, King Kinsman? You want to show him how to bag and board? <laughs> the right way or the wrong way? How do you bag and board? Show us. Come on, bro. Or the Cheeto way. This guy, he, he bags one, man. Cards, man. All right. The next book Let's I have is. The script. I think it's the end I, of it, I right? I have a script. Yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Moral History, number six. What should we do next for the giveaway? Should we do numbers? Yes. You guys are doing another giveaway tonight? Yeah, yeah. We usually do what two? We do about two. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're still steadily like what 40, 40. Oh. <laughs> we have about 30 something people in the chat still. Yeah, uh, we have Black Cat number three, the variant. This is actually a real nice cover, too, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a nice variant. And then we have, of course, the J. Scott Campbell cover. Golly. That. Thank you. They sell Campbell and Art Germ. So, yeah, those stories are fire, man, bro. The next book I have will be Ages of Atlas, number one. It's, it's, yeah, it's oh. got a young variant. It's actually pretty nice. There you go. You like it? Current news. Why don't you review it, bro? Yeah, yeah man. Let, let us know what you think about it, man. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Damn. We know we got. We heard, we heard today that they have their own uh, a TV show coming out. They do. Yeah, someone said that. I think it was AML. This is another cover for Ages of Atlas number one. What in the world's college buddies? City Joe, man. Those guys. They they talk about. It. There was no eggs. What the hell are you talking about, Bert? 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 <laughs> okay. There's going to be a, a cover swipe for Giant Size X number one, Ages of Atlas num number one. I like it. Yeah, so this one's going to probably be on sale for like 50 bucks tomorrow. Oh, uh, with the way the market works, I won't be surprised. They, they get, you know. Yeah. Then we have this variant. This variant's real nice, too. Dude, they have a lot of damn covers of this book. And this is gonna be cover eight. Oh, Holy cow, dude! Can you guys let the college buddies thing go? Good lord! Oh man, just hey, I don't think your students can comprehend, bro. What are you teaching them? I don't, I don't even know if those are my students. I have no idea who the hell they are. I have no idea. Who they are. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just assumed that they were. All right, the next book we have to be Arrow. They were, they were, they were on your uh, on your chat first. Your chat. They were on mine first. You were correct. Arrow number two. Hey man, I appreciate the subscription though. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Arrow number two. Como chingan these out, Albert? Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, we only well, have yeah, one cover of this book, and it's the blank cover. That's it, guys. Sorry about that. Oh. Absolute card number one. Oh, the Draw your own one. art. Where's the red one? There you go. There's a red one for this one? Oh, I think it's like a white one on here, bro. You Do you want me to buy it? You, you want to you want to buy two hundred copies of that book? Yeah, I'll buy. I'll you know that. what? I, I didn't think too much of it. I saw it earlier. One two hundred. It's a red cover. It's just a you red want me to kick out those? Huh? Do you want me to kick out those three dudes? Nah, man. Let them have let them have fun, bro. I mean, the chats have fun, you know. So 
Um, I don't know. I think they want to. They want to see a college review or college book review. But you know them. You they, they, the college review. They had, look, Kim, Kim said that that fire that, that covers fire. This one here is a connecting variant for absolute carnage. Look at that. Nice. That thing is fire too, man. Every every covers fire. Even the even, even the blank covers fire, bro. You can just be going on. This was this was trying to trick it. This is gonna be the the what do they call it? Young guns? Yeah. What was that demon go? This is the young guns variant, guys. I don't know who the guy is that uh that hobgoblin looking guy. I don't know who he is. Kern, you said that there. I don't care about absolute carnage. Bro, you should, bro. It's actually better than college buddies. Uh, this one here is gonna be. That's yeah, a nice. This is a nice variant. These are. They should be free. Free for all. Something like these. Unless it's like a one in something. But boom. <laughs> the next. Oh, this this is fire right here, man. Dude, how, how are you guys gonna make up your mind what book you, you're gonna pick up for more? Look, look at that uh, cover. The, the oh my goodness, dude. That is insane. And these are just regular variants, bro. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. Our germ killed. Our germ with a carnage cover. Look at that, bro. That's crazy. Dude, it looks a lot better in person, bro. Damn, it looks a lot better. Yeah, virgin one. Where's the virgin? You know what, guys? Uh, the virgin one's probably at uh, another comic book shop that went There's heavy as right hell. There. You don't have to open that one. No, I'm opening this one real quick. All right, guys. You guys want a little spoiler? Oh, no, don't show them that. They won't go to sleep. All right, guys. Check it out. Yeah. Try to catch you the right angle. Yeah. Boom. I want the art germ. The art germ is fire, bro. So... There you go. That's your free spoiler for today. And of course, you guys have seen cover A. But it doesn't end there, guys. Borrow these. And after this, we're going to do another giveaway, guys. We're going to do the uh, the numbers. Why are these? Oh, this can put these back. We have the 1 in 25 for Black Cat. Already in the Mylar. Thing is fire. Hey, Big Shaq, you, you're you're gonna want to pick up the this uh absolute carnage, bro. We have. Oh, you already seen this one. Put that one left. We have Savage Avengers one and twenty five. Beyond Bianchi or Bianchi cover. Beautiful. We have the one in ten. The one in ten for House of X. The only thing that sucks about this one is that King Thing Duck. I'm subscribed to that. Yeah, with that. It's a nice cover, though. No, it's not. Yeah. Both of them did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both game damage. All right, guys. Oh. So. We have Absolute Carnage number one, the one in 25. Gab Gabriel or Gabriel Delato. Oh. Ooh. My, my, my. This is Paul? Let me read Paul. Yeah, you can go ahead and read that. That's crazy. I mean, we have the Codex variant. This is a 1 in 25. We also have the 1 in 50 variant. Oh, he'll fight you for it. Oh, we also have the one per store. I think it's the, the party variant. Tell me about that one. Paul says, "My, my, my." That's gonna be my cover. Boy, you gonna oh. drop? You gonna drop a G tonight, huh? Drop a, you drop a bag, and then we have the two per store variant. And this one here is already freaking. Oh man, look at the reflector. This one's already going for stupid, for stupid money. It glows in the dark. And that's it, guys. That's all the covers. So before we leave, let's do one more giveaway. What do you guys think? Another giveaway? Sure. So my boy Aubrey said said a good thing. He said you, you can't have it all. You can't have them all, Mister Mister uh, Mister Mister Paul. Mister Paul. <laughs> what? Oh, you man, the number Paul. Damn, I even listened to it. All right. Oh, we have yeah, there, there's so many people. There's, there's 42 people oh. on here, so we'll do um, we'll do the same thing, man. We'll do um, a number between. 
Chief is here. We're here. Go ahead, knock it. A number between one, one and 150, man, but Maddie's going to put it on her. One and what? 150? Yeah. Where's my notebook? Yeah. Probably here. Oh. I have. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, damn, guys. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait. What's that? Uh oh. Party's over. Party's over. One to 150? One to 150. I put my wrist right here. And then maybe get one all the way up here. All right, guys. Of Just course, right. do not type anything yet until we t until we type in the chat. Ready, set, go. I'm gonna pick a number right now. Let's see. Can I guess too? <laughs> yeah, you can guess. You can guess. All right, I'm gonna make one guess. I'm gonna go to the numbers. All right. Okay. What is it? One to one. One to one fifty. And all right. Type in ready, set, go. Oh, I type in. Ready, set, go. Go for it, guys. One through 150. Come on. Shit. That was pretty fast. Holy cow, the chat is going nuts. You can see it there. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Might have missed it, but I don't think I've seen it yet. <laughs> Kinsman, you only type in one number at a time. <laughs> I don't see it yet. Now, if it does pop up, I'm going to double check. If, um, because this thing was pretty fast, man. So I'll double check and make sure who won. 32. Nope. You see, that thing is moves faster than that. Oh, shoot. Did you just say the number? Nope. I have not set the number yet. <laughs> You've been sending too many minutes to take a break and try to get me. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Man, I have to, I'm going to have to backtrack because you guys are going too damn fast. Yeah, dude. I haven't seen it yet, I don't think. And again, if I, for whatever reason I did miss it, you guys can always correct me. But no, I don't. Ooh. Somebody's close. Some people were getting real close to it. There you go. Wayne Melvin, 131. Oh, man, that could have been wrong 131. But you know what? Um, backtrack. backtrack real quick. Make sure nobody else picked it. They probably did already. Wayne Melvin with 131. You, you are the winner of the giveaway. But please correct me if I am wrong. Congrats, man. Congrats, bro. Double check, guys. Double check me, please, because I, I, you know, I make mistakes. I'm human. They're Man. still going nuts. They're still going nuts. And Mr. Wayne Melvin, we will be sending you Immortal Hulk 22. It's a damn good book. Wayne, I think you won before, so I should have you on the, on, on, on the system, bro. If not, hit me up through uh. <laughs> That's it, Joe. He's like, I feel like I picked that number early on. Why are people still Let's check it? Though? Oh, because I'm having fun. You're inhuman, bro. I am inhuman. So, again, guys, tomorrow should be a damn good day for for a lot of us. Dark Kimmer said he picked 131. So, Kimmis, I'll double check, bro. Um, I have your information too, bro. I have Kim, I have Kimmis and I have uh, Wayne's information. So, um, I can always reach out to Wayne if 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 he did end up not coming in first. I'm checking. I'm checking. But so tomorrow's gonna be a damn good day, guys. You know, a lot of damn good books. Um, DC is, is is has some damn good books. Uh, Marvel has some really damn good books, and the indies are kicking ass, dude. So um, if the chemist did win, then you know we'll just we'll, we'll I'll hit up the chemist and I'll send him a book. I'll send him that book. So you know, and this it go it goes super fast with the, with the chat, so it's hard to keep up. 
Um, but talking to that, man, do you guys have any final thoughts y'all want to talk uh, about? Wayne Bird? Melvin was the first one to do 131. Who? Wayne Melvin was the first one that did 131. Okay. You check? When I did – when I did 131 as like a, a command F on my Mac, it showed up Wayne Melvin as the first one. So. Well, freaking uh, Burke is computer savvy, so or, or Mac savvy. Um, thank you, Pope, for saying it's a cool show, man. We enjoy doing this, man. This this thing is fun for us every Tuesday. It's the one show we look forward to. The one show that that we can commit to right now. Uh, we want to start doing more live shows, more more videos. It's just time does not allow us to do it right now. We're so busy. But we do – the plan for tonight, Kingsman, is for us to do a midnight release, man, of for Absolute Carnage. But all the other books will be on sale too. Um, what I want to say, man – oh, we do want to do a little, a little bit more videos and a little bit more live shows. It's just getting the time for it. We have, uh, we have some cool ideas we want to do. We want to have some topics that we want to talk about. Now that we own a, a comic book shop and we've owned it for a few months – there's a lot that we want to kind of give an insight on. I think that a lot of you guys will really appreciate. Um, and we have a lot of opinions that we want to give out, you know. And it's just opinions. That's what it is, guys. Um, and then we also want to do uh, – Hydra <laughs> says absolute garbage. Uh, absolute cabbage. Oh. Uh, Hydra, you know you can pick up like four copies of that, of that carnage, bro. Yep. Dennis, we, will, we should have enough absolute carnage, bro. Um, so, Albert, we'll double check on the chat, bro. Sometimes for us it shows up quicker than it does for you guys. But our, showing for me because so many people kept talking, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we'll double check, man. Um, I can always, we can always uh, fix it with anybody. <laughs> Pope, I like that comment, Pope. What do you think? He said, Marvel's a Rob Liefeld, a publisher. They can suck it just like college buddies. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you notice those guys just left on their own. Uh, yeah, those guys, I mean, they probably on sub uh, Chino Comics and where it is what it is. We'll, we'll rectify it. Look, we'll go on there. We'll look at it, man. We'll, 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 is that Bert? Check again. Okay. I'll double check, man. I'll go back in the video and double check. Um, Folks, I hope to see special Chino comic variants, man. Hey, man, we're, we've been, we've been owners for about, what, four months, five months now? Since late February, really March. So March, so March, March, man, so. So yeah, man, we're we're doing a lot of things with with the store, man. So hopefully, with with a lot a lot of the um, the support that we're getting from from a lot of people here, and obviously here on YouTube, man, um, we have a, a a successful store, man, and and we're blessed to have you know good people backing us up, man. Well, look, Electric Mars six hundred two, man. That's the cool thing about it, man, is that we do sometimes we do two giveaways, sometimes we do three giveaways. Um, so every Tuesday you have a chance to. To probably win, right? So that's the cool thing about it, man. Just tune into the show every Tuesday, man, and just and just participate. That's the main thing. All we ask is for you guys to participate. We don't it's, ask for anything else. It's a it's a win win, man, because you get to see the covers, you get our opinions on it. You have people on here, like you have some indie guys. You have, you know, Pope. You have um, Ryan. Ryan yeah. You have Power Ranger fans um, on <laughs> here. No, no, you do. You know, yeah. you have people that read. You can't read all these books, so you have a lot of people here. In the chat they'll tell you like certain things that maybe you're not aware of so that's a cool thing about it is during the show you're also getting other information from other sources um and then you, you're getting something you know that we're giving away just because you know um we appreciate you guys yeah hey already can send it to me through facebook bro um we gotta do our picks of the our picks for the week bro what were, what's our picks for the week man you know i already read out absolute carnage man so so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick that one. You can pick it. No, because I already have my mine was House of uh for DC. I have Deceased, the Joker variant cover, Latina. That is a must buy on my uh, for my opinion. I might Absolutely. Be a problem. Absolutely. I have that one as for DC. What do you want to pick up for DC? And we we don't do just one pick of the week. We do picks of the week because yep, it's our show. We do what we want to. Do. Yeah. For Marvel, there's a lot of books I'm gonna pick up. I'll pick up House of X. It might not be for my own shop, but I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick this book up. Uh, the cover, the cover that I like, that I might, I'm gonna pick up as a cover by them be Invisible Woman number two, the Amanda Connor variant. I like that cover. And of course, you know, pick up Daredevil is a hell of a damn read. But I am also gonna pick up the must. The must pick up for me is Absolute Carnage number one. 
this one here. I bred it. Doesn't mean I'm not buying it. It means I'm still going to buy the damn thing. Because this thing is fire, dude. Man, uh, I, I would say I'm not really reading anything but deceased, man. So deceased will be mine, too. Where's Indy's at? Oh, it's over here. So I'll pick this cover. Let's cover this. Yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty cool little cover. All right, I'll, I'll double check, bro. I got I got the chemist and I got uh Wayne's information, so that's 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 a cool that's a cool thing that I can I can hit them up through Instagram. Um, for the Indies, I, I honestly, guys, there's a lot of books that I would recommend to pick up. Coffin Bound is one of them. Dark Age is another one, and it might sound like there's a lot of books, but it just have a lot of good books, man. I'm gonna check out for Circus. So I'll let you guys know about this one. I'm not, I'm on the fence on this one right now. I wish you were. I'm like yeah, right there. <laughs> and the, 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 the last book I recommend, I've been recommending for a good minute, is Thumbs. I'm really enjoying this one. If you guys have not picked it up, I recommend you do. Uh, so those are my picks. You know, Indy, what are you picking up? Um, well, I'm, I'm assuming I'll pick up basically everything you're picking up are our number ones. Yeah, for the most part. So. What's up for thumbs? I have thumbs, but I have your copy number one and stuff like that. I have red. I have red thumbs, so I'll start reading that in regular time. Um, and and my my Marvel pick is gonna be um, where's the House of them? House of oh, it's in here. It's in this deck. I just I just show off cover A for House of House of uh, X, number two. But really, in reality, Actually, cover be, I like. This is gonna be my pick. For hey, that, you never know. That might, be, <laughs> that might be a sleeper, bro. That might be a sleeper, man. Nah, this is gonna be mine, man. I'm I'm really big on X Men, man. So, am I gonna have an extra Carnage variants? I should, Universe X. I'll hit you up through uh through Instagram, bro. Um, and I'll get with you because you you have a a, a pool a pool list with us. I'll get with you on the up, um, on on the on the on the, on the Indies, bro. Um, okay. what's up, who that? All right. Uh. Aside from that, guys, thanks for the, all the good comments saying that it's a great show. Thanks, our chemist. Our chemist, I need to get with you, bro, because I think you, you hit us up last time, but we didn't talk, bro. I need to get with you on if you want to point, if you want me to point any books for you and stuff like that. Apparently, I don't have picks of the week. Apparently, I don't have picks of the week. You pick your, you pick your, your books. I'm over here talking to the chat. Oh, let me just, put, put, put me on the screen so they can see this beautiful face. Well, look, aside from that, <laughs> Sherry Joe said, uh, the Immortal Hope, bro, if you're not picking the Immortal Hope by now, guys. You're sleeping. All right, let me put a uh, bark on the screen. There you go. Okay. Uh, my picks of the week: Batman Team and T number four is my DC pick of the week, man. That is an amazing story. I love every second of it. Um, just this one. Really good. That's my DC pick of the week. My second favorite is uh, a DC Francesco Matina. Uh, Joker cover. I already showed him that one. Yep. Uh, my indie pick of the week. Uh, if your store has it, it's Team NT 95 second print. And Dead End Kids number one. <laughs> Dead End Kids, yeah. I, I didn't show off that book because I only have one copy of that book. So why even tease the, the, the people on it? Yeah, um, I know, right? I know. Uh, uh, if, 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 uh, indie picks. And then Absolute Carnage, the, the art germ cover. Got you. So, it's a comic. Well, other trying to sell comics to the pizza man. Yeah, yeah, um, with that man, it's been fun as hell, dude. Uh, yeah, you guys the, chilling with us? Who? Pizza man. Hey, you want to buy the one twenty five, bro? Uh, Canto two. The uh, I have to check. I didn't see any of them, bro. Yeah. Dude, I didn't get any last week. Yeah, you did. So, Weird. Cancel two is uh cancel's a freaking what's well, up from that? It's a great book. It's, it's, it's that book has been real crazy, bro. All of them have been coming damaged. Uh, we didn't get our order in. Um, I think I requested like eight or ten. I didn't even get them. So I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up with cancel, bro. Uh, but with that, guys, Burke, it's been awesome having you here, guys. Guys in the chat, man. Um, great having you guys in the chat. Uh, we're about to go offline, but maybe tonight, if possible, I'll throw up a live feed of just a score uh, with just us in the background just trying to do the new comic book they release at midnight. 
Burke, you have anything to say, bro? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Sub everyone up. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. So uh, sub me up. And uh, prayers and thoughts to uh, uh, El Paso. What are we doing this week? Well, this week we're doing an auction on Saturday. Oh, Saturday. We, we should be doing an auction on Saturday, guys, unless something changes. Uh, yes, Universe X, we're going to have some auctions, bro. And we have some damn good books, like always. We have $2 books. We're going to have $2 new books. Uh, so this Saturday, plan for it, unless something changes. Uh, but the plan is to go live on Saturday with an auction. So that's the plan. We might go live again this week because we need to have a few things that we want to talk about, a few shows. Aside from that, guys, waffles. Hey, we're going to throw some waffles on the auction, bro. So get ready because we're bringing the fire, bro. Awesome. How many people you got on there? Uh, I think we have about 30 people on the chat. And eventually, eventually, now we're bringing books. Eventually, we want to be able to do the damn mystery boxes, bro. But, but right now, guys, we're, we're busy. We're trying to get to it. Uh, Dennis, if I have any problems, I will pull it out for you, bro, on Saturday. No, for me. Hey, you're going to go. I love it, bro. Now we have more guys that are into Power Rangers, so. You're getting your ass kicked on that end too, so you make sure you, you bit higher, bro. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Don't let them beat you, Burke. You my do you my boy, bro. Show the guns to him, bro. Show the, show the Burke guns. My son's over here laughing his butt off. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, those gotta be photoshopped. Comments from people, you have been lucky as hell, bro. Baby, show me your, your cast, baby. That might be coming off pretty soon. That one's stronger. Yeah, that might be coming off pretty soon, guys. Thank God. Uh, aside from that, guys, it's been a pleasure, Bert. Glad you're with us, bro. Wow.